Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 20, verses 1 to 2 and 11 to 18. The Feast of St. Mary Magdalene. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been removed away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. Mary stayed outside near the tomb, weeping. Then, still weeping, she stooped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head, the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? They have taken my Lord away, she replied, and I don't know where they have put him. As she said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there. Enough she did, even though she did not recognize him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and remove him. Jesus said, Mary. She knew him then and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means master. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go and find the brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had said these things to her. He knows your name. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Death brings grief. Depending on the intensity of the relationship that one may have had with the deceased, the grief can be devastating. Mary Magdalene was in deep pain because of the death of her friend Jesus. We read that she came to the tomb when it was still dark. It was dark for her, both physically and and emotionally. In that state, the resurrected Christ appeared to her, but she didn't recognize him. What about us? Are we so caught up in our pain that we fail to recognize him in the poor street beggars, our sick and shut-in friends, and relatives in people in countries ravaged by war, and so many other situations? Like Mary, he calls each of us by name. May we listen to him, especially in his word. May we also respond like her and spread the good news of the power of the resurrected Jesus to others. It is primarily for this reason we celebrate her, Apostle of the Apostles, on this, her feast day. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.